Welcome to your first week with AdWords. This short class will share some AdWords essentials and demonstrate how you can stay on track to reach your online advertising goals. Let's have a look at the agenda for this class. First, we'll quickly show you how you can sign into AdWords and what to do if you forget your sign-in details. Next, we'll show you how to build a basic AdWords campaign. Even if you've already created one, it will be useful to review on what makes a successful AdWords campaign. After that, we'll take a look at how you can check that your AdWords ads are running properly. And finally, we'll go over some basic tweaks that will help you improve your AdWords performance. So let's have a look at how you sign into AdWords and what you can do if you forget your sign-in details. To sign into your AdWords account, visit the AdWords sign-in page at adwords.google.com. If you know your Google account details, you can now enter your email address and password to sign in. If you're having trouble accessing your account, you can click on the provided help link. We all forget our passwords at some point. Make sure you keep your contact details up to date in your Google account. To view or update your contact details, go to google.com slash accounts and click on Change Account Recovery Options. Now that we have shown you how to access your AdWords account, let's look at how to set up a basic AdWords campaign. Even if you have set one up already, this could help you improve your current campaign with your advertising goals in mind. Before you even start setting up your first AdWords campaign, think about what it is you're actually trying to accomplish. What is your advertising goal? Is it raising awareness for your company? Would you like customers to buy your product or contact you? Do you offer special pricing or other attractive services? Answers to these questions will help determine what you say in your ad text. So let's say you own a shoe shop and your website offers a range of different types of shoes. You decide you'd like to advertise men's shoes. That could be a campaign. You want to advertise both men's dress shoes and running shoes, so these could be your ad groups. Make sure each ad group contains keywords that directly relate to your product. What words do you think your customers will use when searching for this type of product? These words could let your ad appear next to the Google search results and should be included as keywords. Now create ads to match those keywords. We recommend creating two or three different ads per ad group. That way, over time, you can test which one works best for you. Setting up your campaign this way allows your ads to show when they're most relevant to your potential customers. Also, make sure you're targeting the right audience. Consider where your customers are located and what language they speak. Make sure to check your location and language settings. You have set up your new AdWords campaign, but how do you know if your ads are running? We'll show you how to find out. So you've created your new campaign and you're now wondering if your ads are actually running. First off, any new or edited ads will go through an approval process, which can take up to 48 hours. You can see if your ads have been approved by simply clicking on the tab Ads and then checking your ad status. If your ad has not been approved, check the disapproval reason by hovering over the question mark and then have a look at Google's advertising policies to find out what you need to change to get it approved. After your ads have been approved, you can check if the words you selected to show your ads are working properly. To do this, go to the Campaigns tab, then click on the Keywords tab and in the Status column, hover your mouse cursor over the speech bubble. If for any reason your ad is not appearing, this is where you'll find the reason why and how to quickly fix it. In this particular case, the advertiser's ads are not showing every time a user searches with Google Clock, as the current campaign budget is too low. To fix this, the campaign budget would need to be adjusted by visiting the campaign settings. Once your ads have started running, you should check back the next day to see what works and what doesn't. So let's have a look at some basic tweaks that can make a big difference for your AdWords account. So you've created your campaign, your ads are running, and soon you'd want to find out how you're doing. When you get back into your AdWords account, look at your campaign overview and set the time range you're interested in. Now, when looking at some basic stats, look at how many clicks your ads received. 
this shows you how many times potential customers clicked on your ad. Then compare this to how many times your ad appeared, your ad impressions. The CTR or click-through rate tells you how many times your ad was clicked as a percentage of the total amount of times it appeared, i.e. how relevant your ad was to what your customers were searching for. Looking at this row, for example, here the advertiser received 8.886 clicks and his ad appeared 176,779 times. About 5% of all ads that appeared were actually clicked. Remember your advertising goals. If your goal is to generate new leads for your business, a good clicks to impressions ratio would be above 1%. An awareness campaign will have a lower ratio as you're focusing on a high number of impressions. Let's see where you could make some minor tweaks to improve your campaign performance. In your campaign overview, click on a campaign and then on the keywords tab. Let's say your goal was to attract new customers. When looking at your basic stats again, you'll notice that some of your keywords generate more clicks on your ads than others. That is because for some search terms, your ads appeared to be more relevant to users than others. Try to add some more relevant keywords by using the keyword tool which you can find on your Reporting and Tools tab. Once you know how your keywords performed, you can adjust your bids accordingly. A bid is the price you're willing to pay for every time your ad is clicked. To update a keyword bid, click on your current keyword bid and an editing window will appear, as shown here in this example. You could also test new ad text to see how these affect your results. Simply click on the Ads tab and select the desired ad type from the New Ad drop-down field. Tweaking and testing allows you to find the keywords and ad text that bring you the best results while keeping an eye on your ad spend. Monitor bids for those keywords that bring you the most site visitors or clicks. And pause or delete those that aren't currently working for you because they're either too expensive or don't bring you the expected traffic. Also, we recommend adding some negative keywords. This means that your ads won't show for search queries containing that term, which will help you reach users that are more likely to be interested in what you have to offer. Finally, we'd like to share our three tips for AdWords success with you. First, to be successful with AdWords, we recommend you visit your AdWords account on a regular basis, at least once a week. Second, have a look at your account stats. Being aware of what works and what doesn't is the best step towards successful advertising. And third, keep tweaking and testing. The more you test, the sooner you'll get the results you're looking for.